Hey everyone, Summer here with Astaria Sen, and uh, Rochelle did a Nordic alien invasion spread, and I thought that seemed like fun, and I wanted to give it a try. It's only like seven questions, and I thought it'd be super easy, and I'm gonna use my like alien fairy deck <laughs> with it, and just kind of go from there. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm gonna shuffle the cards while I uh, talk about the questions. They seem fairly you know, simple and fun. So yeah, I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. And I'll uh, hopefully come up with something fun and entertaining for you. We'll find out. I'm not used to doing spreads on the camera. Um, normally, I would just shuffle until cards jump out. But instead, I'm just going to ask the deck, go ahead and have some fun with me and give me the answers I need for the seven questions from Rochelle. So just a second, one more shuffle, and then we will get started. I'm going to probably just go ahead and cut it in half because I've seen people do that. Just cut their deck in half. Okay. Mm. All right. Ready? Let's see what it comes up with for me. Okay. The first question is... What would your strengths be in a Nordic alien invasion? This is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I have to use the book with this deck. So yeah, that's going to happen. <laughs> so Seven of Pentacles. Uh, seven's a fairy number, by the way. That's at least that's how I view it is a fairy number. And Pentacles Sevens. It says for this deck, awareness, peace, no worries, and unnoticed wealth. So I'm going to guess that I can just kind of get by unnoticed and that might be my strength because I'm tiny and, and they might not notice me because I'm tiny and I can hide in places. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay. All right. The next one. Uh, what would your weaknesses be? Okay, let's see. The tower. He looks like Ludo. Oh my gosh. Oh, the tower. Oh man. Weakness. That's like foundational struggles, right? Outside forces attacking your foundation, your, your house, right? <laughs> okay. What does it say in the book for the tower? Um, okay, the tower, destruction of certainties, construction of barriers and limits, closure, punishment, reversal of pride. Okay, so maybe my weakness is that I didn't believe they existed, these aliens, and now they're here, and it probably blows my mind, so maybe my mind is kind of a weakness in that essence, in that aspect of, of this outside force has come down, and now I, can't, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> okay. Are all, are they, are the, okay, are the tall Nordics the ancient elven race? Okay, let's see. That is the queen of pentacles. Now the queens are very strong in their beliefs because they already been through some stuff, right? And queen of pentacles is also physical aspects. So let's see, what does the queen of pentacles say in this deck? Opulence, magnificence coquetry aesthetic s aesthetic whatever this word right here is i don't know what that word is right there as aesthetic athlete 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 soul i don't know something so so i'm gonna guess that's a yes that they are <laughs> okay are they a friend or a f oh wait number four sorry uh how long have they been here that's the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, that's interesting because Aces are all about newness and everything else. I'm going to say based off the Ace of Pentacles as, a, as what I see the Ace of Pentacles are is that they're, they're new because of the Ace being a new energy. But let's see what the, let's see what the, the booklet says. Um, Ties with matter, possession of things without access, complete control of the elements and relationships, and safety. So that doesn't really tell me much. So I'm just going to go with my version. The aces are a new thing. So I'm going to say that they are new. But maybe that's not that they're new here, but just new, new to humanity as a whole. Okay. 
Uh, number five, are they a friend or a foe of humanity? Looks like they are a friend because the Empress is a very nurturing energy, right? <laughs> Uh, number six, how do they feel about the human race? Okay, let's see. That's the knave of pentacles. Okay, so the knaves are not quite, you know, kingish energy, right? There's a lot of pentacles in this. Seriously, that's kind of crazy. Okay, so knave of pentacles, application, study, knowledge, inquisitive, and soul. So I'm going to say that they think we are young, but inquisitive. They, we are young, but curious. So I think that's what they think of the human race. Number seven, what are your chances of surviving this invasion? And the answer is, oh, five of chalices. Things will break. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I think I'll survive it. Honestly, uh, that, I don't think that a broken chalice is necessarily not surviving, but I think that I will lose something in the process, like my mind, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. What does that say in the book? It says five. Loss. Joy of losing. Joy of losing! <laughs> oh my gosh. Of course, only I would find joy in losing, right? No. <laughs> Recovery, what was valuable, understanding the right proportions. So I'd say I'm going to survive it, but maybe with some issues after that okay this was so much fun thank you so rochelle for doing this i it was fun it was quick it was easy and it was entertaining because i didn't know what the cards were going to tell me <laughs> but i'd say that they they were pretty spot on i'm a pretty hopeful person all right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a very great day